I was born in Brooklyn, New York. As we got to the South, it was a new world for me, and I became a Southerner. <laughs> Uh, my sister and I used to share a bedroom, and uh, my mother decided we were too old to share a bedroom, so she moved into a different room, and I had the window now where I could see outside. It was awesome. There was stars everywhere. Carol was my wife. She stands in front of me and behind me, as the case may be, always encouraging. Carol's sister's husband worked for NASA, and when he found out I was just working for NASA, he got me an interview. Then there was reorganization, and I was assigned to the Saturn V program office. And uh, which is what I really wanted to do, and the rest is history. My role was, was, doing, was, was basically calculating the information that we needed to make sure that the vehicle was going to where we wanted to go. We were going to a place called the moon. We wanted to make sure we got to the moon. Ed Armstrong and I were pretty close, and he said, Jerry, whatever you do, once you start this vehicle up, don't stop. And I said, what do you mean? He said, if you stop, we come down, and we probably will not have a good time coming down. The first thing he did is put down the flag of the United States and said, this is the property of the United States of America. And then he started doing picking up rocks. I'm just glad I, was, I got to be involved. It was just a very good experience. These scissors symbolize the, what the Lord God wants us to do and, and, and when to do it. I still do a lot of learning. Shabbos, I take off, and I was able to get one of my non-Jewish friends to sit in for me, okay? If there was something going on that was serious, life for threatening, my local Orthodox rabbi said, you be there. <laughs> but that never happened. And I keep a hiding come on every day. So I, I, I put a hat on, <laughs> kind of to hide it. And then after a while, I said, heck with that. The hat came off, I had to take it off sooner or later anyway. I didn't ever, at, at that point, I couldn't learn about it. The uh, more religious Gentiles that uh, went to the churches and stuff, they admired me for doing it. There is nothing out there but God. If anything, I think that the Abisha, the Holy One Blessed Be He, put all that stuff out there to get our attention. And he got my attention and many other people's attention.